What's up, guys? Welcome to another Build It, Break It Garage episode. I know I've been away for months and months, but uh, it's all within good reason. I got put on the second shift at my job and work until 2 o'clock in the morning and working six days a week. So I just didn't have time to film or edit anything. So it's just that's why it's been so long. Uh, currently I'm on layoff, so hopefully I can get a couple of videos out before I go back. Yeah, so hopefully you guys aren't too upset with me. I uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me through this time, but uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately this isn't my full-time job, so I gotta make some money somewhere, so. But uh, anyway, today we are gonna be working on the cruise, uh, just the daily, nothing super special. Uh, we're gonna give it a tune-up today, so spark plugs and an air filter, and try to figure out which wheel bearing is going bad to throw a tra uh, service traction control light. So, uh, not too crazy today. It's probably gonna be a really easy short video, but I just need something to get me started and going back to filming again. Uh, so I need uh, to practice more again because I, I feel kind of rusty to be honest with you. Yeah, so I'm gonna go start up uh, Midori. Uh, she's kind of warm, so I'll show you that. And uh, then we'll get the cruise back here and start to work. Next up is the cruise, um, so we gotta get that into the garage, so let's get in the garage. Hi, right, so got the cruise in the garage, as you can tell, at least, I think, yeah, kind of zoomed in, but anyway, uh, first things first, what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna scan the car and check for the check engine light because it has been on for a little bit. I already fixed one problem that the check engine light was uh, getting thrown for and I'm really hoping it's not the same problem or else it means I have to replace the whole intake manifold, which is not a fun job. So I'm gonna run these codes or run the scanner and see what uh, codes it comes up with. All right, so ran the codes. Uh, it says bank one, system two, lean, and also an EBAP code. So not 100% sure what that means, but I cleared it. We'll see if they come back. But I'm still gonna be changing these spark plugs today and the air filter, maybe. I'm gonna take it out and actually see it. I have not seen it since I've owned this car, so it might actually be fine. The spark plugs are probably definitely the original ones. This thing's got like 175,000 miles on it, so. They are definitely due to be changed, so we're gonna get those changed out. Okay, I'm gonna get started and uh, work under the hood. Hi, right, so I got the air filter out. What a stupid design. They put a bolt, they pulled a bolt literally right under the intake, so I had to take the tube off. But uh, I got the air filter out, and I mean, honestly, I mean, it's, it's dirty, but it's still pretty good. So we're gonna throw that back in, leave it for probably another 15,000. So next up is to get these spark plugs out. And I'm really hoping that the valve cover seal isn't leaking into the valley holes. Uh, I hear that's a big problem on these cars. I really don't feel like doing a valve cover gasket. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and hopefully I can just do spark plugs and that'll be it. Well, I got the coil pack out, um, wasn't too hard to do. Unfortunately, I did find oil on the third spark plug. So that means it's a valve cover. So uh, yeah, this turned into a little bit more of an extensive job. So I'm gonna pull the spark plugs out and see how they look. These might've been changed before because one of the, pl the plug going into the coil pack was kind of broke. So I someone might've been in here before. So I'm gonna get these spark plugs out and see how they look. So I got the coil pack all nice and cleaned up. So no more oil on it. So hopefully that's good. Uh, so it's this spark plug hole that's leaking. You can see that one's like pretty clean. And that one's got nasty oil in it. So, um, and then also the valve cover is held on by these inverted Torx bolts. 
and I swear I bought a set last time I worked on this car, but I cannot seem to find them for the life of me, which sucks. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, because I have the lights off, but I just wanted to show you. I do watch YouTube videos uh, on this screen uh, to see what I'm doing, because uh, I have no idea what I'm doing on the cruise, so this is a whole learning experience for me. I just watched the guy who knew what he was doing, and it looked like a pain in the ass, so I'm not looking forward to tackling it myself, but... I gotta run to the parts store, get spark plugs, a valve cover gasket, and an uh, inverted torque socket set. So hopefully they have all that, uh, or else it's gonna be a long day. So I'm running now. All right guys, I uh, got back from the parts store, ended up picking up a brand new gasket, and also got tools that I needed. So now I've got uh, an E10 uh, external Torx. Also got a torque wrench. Uh, so. Yeah, um, a little bit of change of plans. I got the new gasket, um, but I'm just kind of worried that if I crack this thing open, I'm just going to be opening up a can of worms and it's going to start leaking from everywhere instead of just one place. So uh, what I've already done is I tested it out. Um, I put my torque wrench at eight, eight foot pounds, and which is supposed to be factory spec. And I got a couple turns out of the, the center bolt where right next to where it's leaking. So hopefully that tightened it up. So I'm gonna try that first. So I don't have, so just in case, I mean, it's worth a shot. I still have the gasket. So if I have to change it and now I've got the tools, it's not gonna be a big deal. But uh, I'm gonna throw the new spark plugs in after I torque the rest of these bolts and uh, should be all set. So I just got done uh, retorquing the valve cover. I don't know if the time lapse is going to really uh, show you that well, but I did end up uh, getting actually quite a few of these bolts were really loose. So I got them torqued down now, all the eight. I uh, did it in like a circular pattern. So we'll see if it still leaks. Um, I mean, worst kind of worst, like I said, we'll take it all apart and do it, but. I really think that just tightening that thing down might be a little a temporary fix for a little bit until it gets worse. So I got the spark plugs in already, about the torque goes down, and next is uh, just throwing on that, uh, uh, throwing in the coil packs. Next is throwing in the coil packs and then the coil pack cover, and we should be all set for today. This is probably a short video, but uh, I wanted to at least get something out here because it's been so long since I've posted, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So. Yeah, I'm going to finish putting this together and I'll check back in with you. Okay, and just like that, got everything back together. Uh, it currently is running good, so hopefully this fixes it. Uh, if not, then uh, we're going to be diving deeper into it. So, all right, so this project's done, so I am all set. Again, sorry for being gone for so long, but uh, like I said, work is just, when I'm working, I have no time to edit or shoot, so I just don't, so. Uh, but I'm gonna try to while I'm on layoff a little bit. I have two other videos that I'm working on uh, that are from the past, but I'm gonna bring them, in, or I'm gonna, I'm going to upload them soon and get them uh, edited. There might not be complete videos, because I think I stopped filming like halfway through one of them, so, but I'll try to explain as it goes along. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna close up the hood on this, pull it out, and yeah, uh, that'll be it. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, like I said, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.